Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. My name is Gary and you know what this is. This is Buck CC and we've taken them from level 10 all the way to the Prem. In today's episode, we play Arsenal at home, which is Stadium MK for this year. And let's see how we do. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. Let's show you what happened at the back end of last season. So if we go to the championship and let's have a look, going to stages and last year. So as of last year, here we go, finished first in the table, champions, 46 games played, 31, nine drawn, seven lost, 101 goals scored and 47 goals conceded. We finished on 99 points. That is pretty incredible considering the season beforehand, we had finished, I think it was 17th or 19th. Let's have a little look at the club info. As you can see here, this is not Buck CC Stadium. This is Milton Keynes, so Stadium MK. And the reason we are at Stadium MK is because we're building our second new stadium of the save. So our first little stadium that got built isn't big enough and isn't to code for the Premier League. So they, we're building a brand new one and that will be ready in 2033. As you can see here, the same line, we've got a 4-4-2 that we play. We have topped out at 604 games, which is a 65 win percent as well. So that's pretty tidy. Let's go into the club vision. As you can see, we've improved the training facilities, youth facilities. I've got myself a new contract. Thank you very much. And we're trying to just you know beef up the wages of the backroom staff. Pretty much, we're just trying to stay in the Premier League. The board have asked us to fight bravely against relegation, um, which I think we, I don't know, who knows? We might do. We've got a nice budget right now of uh, 20 million in the transfer budget. 350,000 in the wage budget and the overall balance is a healthy four and a half million. Let's go into the squad and check out our kind of our tactics. So as you can see here, we have got Alvaro Jose back, back again uh, on loan. Um, here he is. He had a great season last year, finished on 18 goals. He's already got one in one game so far and we'll break that down in a second. What we did do is we've got an optional future fee. So if we do want to sign Alvaro Jose, it will cost us 15 million. We wanted to see how he does in the Premier League first before stumping up that much money. We've got Paul O'Connor who, again, we plucked him from a free transfer from the Irish League. And he came in with six goals in 15 appearances. And he's had a great start to his career at Bug CC. Right now he's worth 750k, a lot of yellow stats. And I guess we should also show you the fact that this is a brand new skin. This whole um, skin is a TCS, it's an amazing one. It makes our, our save look so pretty. Anyway, so uh, this is, go back to our tactics. We have got a bit of an injury crisis on the left-hand side right now. Um, both Borja Sands, who was a wonder kid, is out injured along with um, Alian Ponza. He is also out injured, but you can see his stats are going pretty nice. He's now worth nine and a half million. Let's just check out his career stats. 17 assists last year and eight goals. So he improved massively from the previous season. We've got Vertuli and Zulaka in midfield. However, it is important to show you Sylvian Lazar. Now, Sylvian Lazar came in. We spent five and a half million on Sylvian. He is our record transfer. Let's have a look at the stats that he's got for a DLP. Passing of 19. He has got technique of 16, work rate of 16, vision of 17, decision making. He's got leadership and he's got some pretty decent agility. So his physicals, his mentals, and some of his technicals are, are good for a uh, centre midfielder. He has got five Romanian caps, he's 21 years old, and he's done pretty well in the Romanian league, and we paid out five and a half million to bring him to Buck CC. 
For those of you that are doing long career saves, as you jump up the leagues, it actually becomes really hard to sign players of that caliber in that league. And it's mainly down to the reputation of the club. So the reputation of Buck CC right now is the lowest of most of the clubs in the, well, it is the lowest in the Premier League, and it's probably lower than most in the Championship. So although we've got a little bit of money, no one of actual real quality wants to sign for us. But these are the players that we did get in. So we've already spoke about Sylvian Lazar. The rest of them are either free transfers or loans. So let's just quickly go through a guy we picked up from Inter Milan. This is Zan Petek. He's got a lovely beard uh, from Slovenia, a promising centre back, some good physicals, some good mentals, tackling at 16, marking at 12, heading at 13. So he's got the right stats to play as a centre back as well. A bit of passing, obviously, for our ball playing centre backs. We've signed him from Inter Milan where he didn't make an appearance and he's worth a go at, as a free transfer. Let's have a look as well. Another free transfer, we've sent him out on loan. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure he's gonna cut the grade here, but he's 20 years old. He was released by Atalanta. We're gonna send him out on loan, see if we can get some fees, just to kind of to bring in a bit more cash. Let's go through Nick Rutten. We brought him in on loan. I love that face. Um, he is a Dutch fullback and we brought him in from Leeds United. Now Leeds stumped up 14.25 million for him. And as you can see, he's, he's played at PSV and he's now on loan as the left back for Buck CC. Who else do we bring in? Bubakar Cisse. So Bubakar Cisse, again, we brought him in on loan. He uh, has been in Spain for Seville and I actually quite like him. I mean, we'd love to buy him. He's a complete wing back on the left-hand side, can play centre back, can play on the right-hand side. Dribbling of 13, technique of 16, passing of 15, teamwork of 16, aggression 20, bravery 17. I mean, he says he's a centre-back and he's got this lovely trait of bringing the ball out of defence, which is good for the ball playing centre-back. So here's, a, here's Bubakar Cisse. I like him a lot. I think he's going to be good. I'd love to know your thoughts, so put your thoughts in the, in the comment section on Craig Roy. Now, at first glance, let's just have a look at Craig here. Craig has got a good first touch. He's got some pretty decent physicals. He is a poacher, which he fits in very nicely for us. And if you look down here, he has been uh, banging the goals in in Northern Ireland. 166 league goals in 290 league appearances. And we've basically signed him on a free, there he is, banging the goals in every year for the past 10 years. And we brought him in and you'll see that he's already notched two. So let's go into our schedule and have a look. Pre-season, pretty standard, right? Got some nice wins here, a 2-0 loss to Man City, which was nice for the gate to get in a bunch of money for 20,000 for that game. We finished up by beating Swansea, 4-1 and then in our first game in the Premier League not only did we win 4-3 away from home but our young regen Mr James Sewell who has played as a left midfielder makeshift left midfielder popped up with a goal which was excellent for us he's at 6-1 right now he's 17 years old one star reputation five star potential and he has started the season pretty well and then let's have a little look here. So we got a, a first win away to Wolves. And Craig Roy, he got himself a couple of goals, which was excellent. We then played in the League Cup, beat Notts County 3-2 after Alvaro Jose scored with seven minutes to go to put us through. But here is today's save. And we are playing Arsenal. Let's have a look. Arsenal, one of the best teams in the Premier League right now. Uh, they're third in the table. Let's let's just take a look at their history and competitions. They won the Champions League in 2006. They won the Premier League. 2004 was the last time. But they've always been going through the leagues and finishing fifth, sixth, sixth, fifth. So for us, this is a real big challenge to pay to play Arsenal, Buck CC versus Arsenal at Stadium MK in Milton Keynes and let's 
get started. So let's have a little look. We might change a couple of things for our setup today. We're gonna to put Lazar in for the Vertuli as the DLP. We'll put the Vertuli on the bench. And James Sewell will make his appearance on the bench too. So we've got Sewell. Danny Lawton, who is another five star or four, yeah, number four and a half star regen. Uh, gotta love this white hair. And um, he is another one in the pipeline, a promising striker. He looks like he's ineligible for today's game. We've got some fitness issues here, very small squad. I'd say let's put Morrison on the bench. And there we go, a very, very young bench. Cissé and Purdy at centre-back. Quisp in the goalkeeping position, Rutten on the left. Schultz, who's actually doing pretty nicely for us. He's worth nine million over on the right-hand side. Moriera, who steps in on loan. We got him in because both our left midfielders are injured. O'Connor on the right. Lazar, uh, Zuleika. Here's Zuleika. I like him a lot. Ball-winning midfielder. He's got a lot of energy in there. Aggression, anticipation, teamwork, technique and tackling. And he complements the DLP really nicely. And then up front, we have got Alvaro Jose and Craig Roy. Now, we could start Bomb Grabber, who we got him back on loan again. Uh, he had a great season last year, 23 goals. He was a top goal scorer at the club. We've got him in on loan again, but we don't have an optional future fee for him. So we're going with Alvaro Jose and Craig Roy. And uh, our young lad, J Cox, Jordan Cox, is, he's, well, I think he is progressing pretty nicely. Uh, as a, he's got this kind of spine of positions. He can play a forward, attacking midfielder, or centre midfield. Again, he's only 18 years old. He's got a couple of under-21 caps, and he was a, he's one of our own. So we're going to try and bring him through too. So there's the team selection. Let's get started. Submit that team. And we're going to play Arsenal at Stadium MK in our first home game in the Premier League. Well, there we go. Let's get started. We we'll tell the boys. No, I don't. Want, I don't like saying things like we've got nothing to lose here, because then it just thinks, well, it's okay to lose. Let's just say um, we're the underdogs, but go and give them, go and give them something to cheer about, and then of course tell them that we got faith in them. And there we go. We've got some nice greenery there. Shout out, by the way to the makers of this skin. It is beautiful. I love what it's done to the game for me, just to refresh it. Um, and again, this is like my 12th season in this long career save, taking bucks from level 10 to the Prem. Alvaro Jose gets a header on target there and it's saved by the Arsenal goalkeeper. Big kick over the top. Purdy nods it down into Zuleika, into Lazar, the, the record sign, and then Craig Roy is in. And he puts it wide, it's deflected wide, and it's a corner, and we're always dangerous at corners. Who's to whip it in? O'Connor with the corner, whips it in, headed clear. And now Arsenal are on the break. Oh, that's a beautiful recovery tackle from Ovaro Jose. Throw into Arsenal here. Now, Arsenal are wearing a very similar kit to our away kit. Good block by Schultz. Brings it out and he's marauding down the right flank. And it's mopped up again and now we're out of position. And they are striding through the heart of our thing. And, oof. I have noticed, obviously, that a lot of the Premier League teams have some exceptional players. And for Buck CC to survive in their first year in the Premier League is going to be a challenge. Quisp with the goal kick. Paul O'Connor into Zuleika. Zuleika into Paul O'Connor. Crosses it in. And it's cleared by legit... Delit. Sorry. Uh-oh. Demerson Bruno. He's got the ball, nods it back into Mendes, Almeida, into Herrera, Demerson Bruno down the right flank for Arsenal, whips it in, 
and Lionel Cortez scores for Arsenal. And after 10 minutes, we are 1-0 down to the Gooners. Free kick to Arsenal. Floats it in and it's a goal kick. There is a lot of Arsenal chances and that's to be expected. We are playing Arsenal. We are Buck CC. One of the fun things that I did, if you go into one of the back screens on like team details in the Premier League, uh, I guess drop down, you get to see the wage disparity. So how much everyone is paying annually in their salary. We're paying 12 million a year in salary. And our, I believe the top teams are like, like 200 million a year in, in wages. And we're only at 12. Some nice interplay on the edge of the 18 yard box there. We've got ourselves a nice chance, but clearly we're going to have to be a bit more clinical there. If you look at this XG, yeah, Arsenal took took advantage of that at that time. We've had four shots, only two on target. Arsenal with nine to their six. And uh, they've picked us a little bit on the average rating. Okay, dressing room. Let's see what we get. I want to... I want to just say, okay, let's, let's say, should we say we've been the better team? Not really. Let's say um, that we're the underdogs. We're still the underdogs. But forwards, I'm not happy with the finishing. Tell the midfield is that, and then the defender is that. And let's see what we've got. Alvaro Jose with a 6.7. Craig Roy with a 6.5. Lazar with a 6.3. We are underperforming here. Let's give a little shout from the bench to demand a bit more. And what has that done to them? That has not made them happy. We're starting to see a few red hearts here. We're going to take off Rutten and let's bring on Botello. We're going to take off Lazar. Let's bring on Vituli. And then, oh, free kick. Here we go. Paul O'Connor whips it over. Bruno heads it clear. Who's going to get there first? And it's Martinelli who gets to the ball first. And he is dribbling all the way through. And that's a great last ditch tackle from Botello. Schultz brings it up the right flank. Go on, Schultz. Keep going. Into Alvaro Jose. Flicks it back to Schultz. Into Zaleka. Into Vatuli. Craig Roy out to Moriera. And Craig Roy's in. Oh, and it's hit the post. It's hit the post. Okay, let's pause. It's time for us to bring on... We've got one sub. Do we bring on James Sewell to play or Alvaro Jose? I think let's take off Moriera and bring on Sewell to play left midfield. The young regen. Here we go. Free kick. Who's got it? Alvaro Jose on the edge of the box. And he scored. We kept him on and Alvaro Jose has scored his third goal of the season. He's equalised with four minutes to go. What a free kick from the Brazilian. Lovely stuff. Well done, Alvaro Jose. Three minutes to go. Uh-oh. Demerson Bruno. Free kick. Whips it in. Back post to Tuli. Heads it clear. And now it's Alvaro Jose with the ball, bringing it out, and it's Craig Roy. Craig Roy is in on goal. Get in there! That is a 90th minute winner by the Irish sensation, Craig Roy. A free transfer, and he has not only, he's gone and scored himself his third goal of the season, but he's only gone and scored the winner with a cheeky, cheeky little dink over the goalkeeper. And we could be beating Arsenal at home in the first home game of the season. Get in there, Buck CC. Get in there. Craig Roy and Alvaro Jose, we gave them a little bit of criticism at half time, saying that they should have done better. And boy, oh boy, they did. Well, there you go. We have just had an amazing comeback. An amazing comeback. And Buck CC not only have beaten Wolves 4-3 away from home, but we have beaten the Arsenal at home at Stadium MK. And we sit second in the Premier League. 
We have played two and won two after scoring in the 86th minute and then the 90th minute. You have got to love doing a nice FM job on Arsenal. Okay. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. This is Buck CC going level 10 and now we're in the Prem. And it's only Craig Roy, the free transfer from Ireland, who scores the 90th minute winner. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a follow and we'll see you again soon.